uh, I, I have a problem and mm-hmm. I've shared this with you. And, and, and I think this will clue in the viewers into what we're talking about. I have a problem with people making money off of people looking for help. The, the, the desperate and needy. Yeah. Yeah. And I have a problem with content creators, good or bad, big or small, mm-hmm pitching themselves as quote unquote, you know, experts in the subject Mm -hmm. matter and charging people for money for advice that you can Mm -hmm. find readily available online for free. If if you, if you had like, if you look it up. Yeah. Right. You know, if you take the time to actually do like some research, yeah, it's, it's right there. It's right there in front of you. It's just putting it into practice that people don't want to do. That is very true. I'm so glad you said that. And mm-hmm. so I want to ask you, I want to start off with this, where this inspiration came for this, this whole little series I'm doing here. It's going to be a series of nine episodes, not 10, because everyone does top 10. I'm going to do top mm-hmm. nine, okay? Just a, a odd number just to piss off people. <laughs> people. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. So have you ever heard of Jared Petty? No. Jared Petty works in games, media, journalism. Uh, he did work with Kind of Funny Games. I love Kind of Funny Games. I listen to that podcast every day. About to, and about to look him up. Um, he did an, he does a podcast called the top 100 games of all time. Mm-hmm. What he does is he brings on one guest every episode and that guest contributes one game as their top game of all time. And he's going through 100 people to compile a list of 100 top games of all time. And I was like, this is a really cool idea. Like they've got mm-hmm. some really great conversations, really good games. I mean, they got, they throw out Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, Metal Gear Solid, Mass Effect 2s, et cetera, right? If you think of it, it's probably been talked about in an episode. So that's, I thought to myself- solid lineup already. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God, dude. I want to replay all of them right now. So I thought to myself, let's take that same idea and philosophy and apply it in a way that can help newcomers into content creation or those mm-hmm. of us who've been in it for a minute or those of us who are just trying to learn and grow and just expand, right? From mm-hmm. people- in their shoes right now, not self-proclaimed experts and gods, right? Mm-hmm. Not people trying to make a buck off of them, but just people who can offer great advice. So you don't have, don't answer now, but basically mm-hmm. at a point I'm going to ask you is what is your one piece, top advice to give content creators? You pick what angle you want to take and you're just going to tell us, but before you do, all right, mm-hmm. tell us about yourself and your journey in content creation. Okay, so as Frank said, I, my name is Gary KW. I started in 2012 and a YouTube channel called Achievements. It was a Let's Play channel. It's still up. It's not active anymore. We've since disbanded. Um, and we essentially wanted to uh, start a production company uh, very, very similar to Rooster Teeth. Uh, if it's not obvious by the name Achievements and then like Achievement Hunter, it was, I had no control over the, 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 I mean, other than the name, but the branding, because we basically photocopied their logo. It was wild. Um, we, I did that for a couple of years and learned how to, you know, edit video, video production, uh, got into videography, photography, and a lot of this is going to go into my, like my answer, uh, to Frank and the i've been content creator for t- like for 10 years saw no audience no traction really until december of 2021 wow and like no audience like i had an audience of like some like local people you know like you and like some like friends but no like strangers you know i went from basically nothing to all of a sudden i'm like chopping it up with bring me the horizon and uh like who 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 else like like i don't want to say like celebrities but like like people i shouldn't be talking to you can say celebrities because you've had some (laughs) i've seen like (laughs) you know like in the dms you know that's when it really came to like i'm like dude like people in the entertainment industry that i'm like sending my resume to of like they're, they're offering to look over my resume and being like you know, let's see what we can do. Like shit like that, you know, little, little me from Louisiana. And I, I was to, to put it into the context. I was one of those people who thought, who was told that I should become a coach, like a content creator coach. And then, and, and I tried 
and it never worked. It never really worked. Um, I just, I have the experience, but I just didn't have the, like the, the meat of it to, to say like, well, I've done this and I've worked with, with, with these people. I, I didn't have any of that. I just been putting out videos for the last to like 10 years. So on, are you telling us that in order to be that coach, you should have the results to back that up? Mm hmm. Okay. At least I, at least I think so. I at least, like if you're, if you were trying to sell a service to somebody, but you don't have the, you know, the something to, to back it up, like the, like, is it like the meat of it? You know, you're like, I can, cause, cause there's a, there's a difference. There are coaches out there that are like legitimate. They, I, I've seen them work. I've, I've worked with them, not for me, but I've worked with them on projects who also have been coached and they, and they've helped people. I know that for sure, but, but there is a huge amount of just, normal ass people that have a vlog or not a vlog i always do that a blog and then all of a sudden in their their website there's like buy my course and buy my <laughs> buy my book and i'm i'm gonna tell you it's not their book they're, they're, most of the people they're not writing it that's not that's not their course so they, there's this copy pasta cop dude, dude. <laughs> and I almost, I almost fell into that. I was like, you know, desperate to, to I want to make a buck. And the, the difference is that I have so many people in my DMS that ask me the same thing over and over that they see, they see you doing something they see you doing well. And they're like, Oh man, good to see you blowing up, man. Look, look at you, you doing it, man. And it's, and it's like, dude, where were you like, like ten years ago, like six years ago, when like nobody was looking at my my other shit. Now all of a sudden, you're all in my DMs wanting me to like, oh man, make a video about this, make a video. I'm like, no, no. Let me do <laughs> my know? own damn thing. I'm doing my own thing that like I've been doing for for years now. You know, you could like, what's what's the deal? You know, but. I do think that like you should have that, you know, something to back it up, but I don't think everybody's meant to be a coach. I am not meant to be a coach. I am not a good teacher. I I have ADHD, OCD. I, 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 it's hard for me to learn in general. Like I have to I have a specific way to even learn something and I can't translate that into teaching somebody. I can talk until the crows come home or however that saying is, and you can take notes because I'm just ranting at this point. Right. But I, I can't, I can't be anybody's coach. Okay. But you never know. I don't, I don't know. So maybe the way I, I do things, somebody might, it might resonate with them. But I don't, I don't think I can be a coach. And I'm glad I, I didn't take going in that direction. Guarantee you concrete, tangible results. Mm -hmm. In 90 days, you will go from X amount of subs to X amount of subs, guaranteed. In 90 days, your average viewership will increase from this to that. In 90 days, you, you see what I'm going with here? If someone can guarantee that for you with a money back policy, sure. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because what they're going to do is buy bots. They're going to get you to invest in the bots to make your account skyrocket in followers. And then it's going to get flagged. And then you're going to be fucked. And you're going to be out of money and a social media account. Have you seen this happen? Because it sounds like you just seen, you've seen that happen. There's a couple of things. There's a couple of, and, I, and I'll leave this at this. There's a couple of things. If you, if you, if you invest in, in a, in a, um, like a, a, a coach or, or whatever, and they guarantee you that they can see you like, or, or a business. Cause a lot of businesses, there's a lot of businesses that do this and they'll reach out to like low, um, like newer content creators are like that have like lower views. There's a couple of things that they do. They will guarantee you followers. And what they'll do is you will, you will pay them and they will, uh, you will get bots on your account and your account will skyrocket. And let's say Instagram, your followers will skyrocket on Instagram. Instagram will see that yesterday you had 50 followers and today within 18 hours at skyrocketed from 50 followers to 2000 followers and you didn't even post anything and it'll flag your account and your account will be be gone and so will your money be gone or you will talk to an actual real life person and they're like hey um do you how, you want more followers or whatever i i gain followers the xyz way and what they'll do is they'll follow you first usually talk to you 
chop it up, like talk business or whatever, and then unfollow you later. So they just gained a follower and then they unfollowed you after a little while and that, then that's it. Yeah. And then they'll have some type of like scheme that, that happens all like it's kind of uncomfortable because I have I may even have a DM still where this guy he still follows me, which, you know, I, that's weird. But they'll always DM me asking me if I want to learn how to make. Oh, it was on LinkedIn, too. If I want to learn how to make some like money or like some some something along those lines. Right. And and I'll be straight up honest with it. I'll be like, no, thanks. Because um, what will usually happen is that I'm going to start working for you and uh, I'm going to have to basically be a salesman and sell my services, which is whatever your services are that aren't real and basically do the same thing to these people and bring them into your company to pay you Off to their work to, to like, uh, to, to cold call people in DMS constantly, constantly. And to, until you find that one desperate person was like, yes. And you won't even get paid until you get that. Yes. And I, I told that guy that, and he was like, all right, cool. <laughs> he was like, understandable. You, you you know the game and i'm like this is crazy it's a wild world out there man yeah man. it is absolutely crazy but that's not all i am it's just a little part